Welcome to the IntelliDAC Validation Lite user training video. IntelliDAC Validation Lite is a program that you insert into a Kofax Capture workflow, taking scanned images from a batch and allowing you to add redaction marks to hide privacy fields such as social security numbers. When validation is finished and a batch is closed, the batch proceeds into a release phase in which the redactions are actually burned onto the images and then the images are released into a file system and or database. In this video, we will show you how to open a scan batch, navigate the images within the batch, and demonstrate redaction features. To start, click on the Validation Lite desktop icon. The first thing you'll see is a list of available batches. Let's pick the first one. Just double click on it to open. Within validation, there are two parts of the window. On the left side, there is a tree, which represents the batch and all of the scanned documents within it. Each document is shown as a book icon, and within each document is one or more pages. As you can see, the first and third documents have one page each, and the second document has three pages. On the right side of the window, is a scanned image indicated by the highlighted item on the tree, page 1, image 1. Along the top of the window is a row of buttons, which we'll explain as we demonstrate the program's functionality. Note that several of these buttons are grayed out, because they are only available in the full version of IntelliDact, not IntelliDact Lite. There are several methods for navigating the scanned images in the batch. To move to the next image, press the page down key on your keyboard or the right arrow green button on the toolbar. To move back one image in the tree, press the page up key on your keyboard or the left arrow green button on the toolbar. In addition, you can go directly to any image by clicking on a page icon in the tree. By the way, for this demo, all the images contain fake data. None of the names, addresses, social security numbers, etc. are real. Before we redact anything, here are some basics on how to view the image. To zoom in, click on the plus button on the toolbar or press the plus key on the numeric keypad. To zoom out, click on the minus button on the toolbar or press the minus key on the numeric keyboard. The best fit button resizes the image so that it fits entirely within the window, while the fit width button next to it maximizes the width at the cost of causing the height to scroll. Now we're ready for reaction. In this image, the social security number is exposed. To redact it, double-click the mouse to change the cursor to a pencil. Then drag a rectangle over the text. When you release the mouse, the rectangle becomes a redaction field and it will be noted in the tree. The redaction field is translucent so that you can see the underlying text, but when the image is released, the redaction will be solid black. To move the redaction, position the cursor over the field, hold down the left mouse button, and move the mouse. If you want to resize the redaction, position the cursor on one side <coughs> of the redaction, grab one of the red handles, and drag it to move the borders. The undo and redo buttons on the toolbar allow you to reverse or reapply any redaction changes as needed. Undo, redo, undo, undo. If you're happy with your changes, you can move to the next image. I'm pressing the page down key to do this. In IntelliDAC Lite, if you add any redactions, you're prompted to save the changes before continuing. Yes. <laughs> 